here hitting man saying names. Why you holler mine? Yeah. Tell him get off my dick. His whole style is mine. Enjoy your college time, nigga. I will ruin your career. Leg shot in the lotion from this pal of mine. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Danny Myers, and you are tuned in T7M Radio, Battle Rap's premier radio network. What's up, people? Seven Mitchell with T7M Radio. The culture here to drop another biography, biography spotlight on another battle rap artist. This week's biography is going to be on the big homie Tay Rock, Cave Gang General, Dot Mob member. Now, Tay Rock hails from out here in Maryland. Catalog is super crazy. Over 25 battles on his jacket. The last appearance we seen at Tay Rock was known Seven versus Chess. Definitely got busy. Big shout out to him and Chess. Shout out to Smack URL. Um, the 25 battles to me is real instrumental on how big of an artist Tay Rock is because when you look at the overall body of work of the 25 battles, he takes and gives a lot of shots to a lot of upcoming artists. I just mentioned that he battled Chess. His resume, he has a battle with Rum Nitty. He's also giving shots to JC at the time, John John the Dawn, Briz Rothstein, uh, just to name a couple of other guys, Ill Will, that was also a shot. So in his um, run to being a top tier artist, Tay Rock has never hesitated to give some of the young gunners a shot. That definitely solidifies him as uh, one of the best in the game because we don't see a lot of vets and a lot of top tier artists taking a lot of the upcoming talent so a big shout out to Tay Rock for that as far as appearances on different platforms uh, Tay Rock of course we've seen him on UW he battled Sharon High Stakes 2 Network also he battled Arsenal on the uh, UW Network we've also seen him battle on a variety of platforms such as UW Network Seven City Shark Queen of the Ring and of course the home base URL Tay Rock, the Gumball King, very aggressive, has a lot of presence. Um, he's the man when it comes to the bars. Now, outside of battles, he has a handful of mixtapes, including his hit Aromatherapy 2 that's out right now. Make sure y'all check that out. He also made a recent appearance on Hot 97, Frontmaster Flex. Big year in 2016 for Tay Rock. I think in 2016, to me, he made a lot of record-breaking, history-breaking moves. He had the Queen of the Ring appearance versus C3. He also got his battle versus Arsenal. That was a big shot that he got last year. Now, also, Tay Rock, along with one of his partners, shook up the battle rap world last year with a double impact when they gathered the group Sue Surf Tay Rock gun titles. That pretty much shook up the world of battle rap when it comes to the two on two. And he also developed the Cave Gang group, recruiting guys like Briz Rothstein, Young Cannon as of late, also Ryder, I believe, and of course, the big homie ad from VA so Tay Rock has really stepped up and really come out of just being a a, a, a lieutenant or a soldier and really have bossed up into the game and really stepped up his resume and, and moved himself into an elite boss status now as far as battle rap highlights of course we got the rematch with Charlie Clips we got the classic battle with Ill Will the C3 battle that I mentioned gun titles the biggest challenge to me for Tay Rock's overall resume to me was the Calico battle. I thought the Calico battle was the biggest challenge for Tay Rock. I thought that the B Magic battle was actually the most debatable uh, battle, the most debatable moment for Tay Rock. Even Clip's first battle, I know I'm going to sound ridiculous and blasphemous because he even felt like he lost. I thought that Tay Rock won that first battle versus Charlie Clips. I thought Harlem was just being totally biased for Charlie Clips in that first battle. Really, honestly, with Tay Rock, you know, I've been locked into him, but the moment that I was sold have to be the Summer Madness 2 versus Ill Will. Check out how this guy just demonized Ill Will. And you just see another Tay Rock. Check this out. I said, chill, Will. When I kill Will, should I give him a Smith like Emmett or Emmett Till Will? Man, he just never seen anything like that. The look in his face, you could tell that this was something that we are not used to, especially from him. So, you know, much respect to Tay Rock. 
he definitely did his thing. I mean, he had a lot of other moments with members, but that one it was just a moment of clarity for me. What you may or may not know about Tay Rock, um, as I said, he's definitely the cave gang general. He's recruiting a lot of upcoming talent that I kind of mentioned. To me, I'm not I'm not sure if you guys are really aware, but the way it looks right now, Tay Rock is actually the biggest hip hop artist in the state of Maryland. I cannot name an artist in Maryland right now, right now, that has a bigger buzz, making bigger noise, um, and getting the views that Tay Rock is right now. Tay Rock may be arguably right now the biggest artist in the state of Maryland, mainstream, underground, all around the board. So that's definitely a big salute to him. Um, and that's really no biasness on my end. I mean, here I am in Baltimore. I've never even had Tay Rock as a guest on my podcast. I think Tay Rock is very tight knit about the media and you know who he you know provides interviews to, things of that nature. So you know I don't really take nothing like that personal, and it's, I respect that. But it's no bias in this. I'm just laying it down the way I, I, I look at it. And I just feel like he is definitely the best in the state of Maryland right now. And he's definitely one of the elites when it comes to the battle rap in the URL. Now, future projects for Tay Rock, of course, we got the Gnome 7 Battle vs. Chess that should be dropping on the URL channel soon. Hollow the Dawn said he was writing for Tay Rock. He may actually give Tay Rock that well-deserved shot. I want to know what y'all think. Does Tay Rock stand a chance against Hollow the Dawn? Definitely a well-deserved battle. Me, in my opinion, I feel like that's a definitely good look for Tay Rock. Tay Rock definitely need to take a vacation. He's been going so hard as of late. He deserves a vacation. It's not that he's losing. He's been winning his battles, but I just think he's been doing so much, providing a lot of shots to a lot of up-and-coming superstars. It's time for him to take a break, come back, get some of those big names. So that's where I stand at on Tay Rock. Definitely one of the elites, top tier without question. And if he get this battle with Hollow the Dawn, and if he does well, solidified Battle Rap Hall of Fame. So y'all let me know what y'all think of Tay Rock, man. This is 7 Mitchell, T7 at Radio. The coach is just dropping another biography. Join us on the podcast every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102. Follow us everywhere on social media, at T7 at Radio. Y'all stay safe. Let me know who y'all want me to drop the next Spotlight profile on. Again, this was a new biography. The ballography on T Rock. Salute to the Cave Gang Dot Mob shit. Seven Mitchell T7 on Radio the Culture. Y'all stay safe, man. Yeah, peace. The Culture with Seven Mitchell Battle Rap Debate Podcast on T7M Radio every Sunday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 347 989 8102. And follow us on social media at T7M Radio.